All right, again, I have a bead mandrel with release, and I toast it gently in the flame. Gently. The purpose is to get any moisture out. So you'll notice, too, when I dance in the flame, I kind of dance at an angle down, but not sideways to me, because the glass, if it flakes or fractures off, it's going to kind of shoot down in a cone, straight from what would be like visualized as the barrel of a gun. So I'm holding it in, and once you're red, then you're not in any danger of thermal shock. And now we're at the point where we're going to start to drape the molten glass onto the preheated mandrel. So here we go. And I rotate the preheated mandrel gradually as I apply the molten gather of glass from my feed cane, which is in my right hand. And notice, too, how I am below the flame with respect to the mandrel. The steel rod is below the flame. That is my canvas. The glass in my right hand can be thought of as the paint, and I'm doing the applying of the paint or the hot glass below the flame. Notice now, once I applied all my glass, I am in the flame. I am. And then I'm rotating it smoothly and gradually, and I periodically take the bead out to see what I'm doing, see what's happened. I'm wearing my didymium lenses. Don't you ever forget to wear glasses doing this, you guys. You only have one set of eyes, so protect them at all costs. So now I'm turning it, and the bead color which is gray, is going to gradually return, and I have a beautiful, simple, round bead. Dance back in the flame to reheat it. If the bead is too long out of the flame, it will crack. So periodically, if you want to keep working on the bead, you need to flash it in and out of the flame. Not so much, but a low kind of glow, and you're rotating mesmerizing and that's, that's that's the part of the beauty of glass bead making the fun of seeing the colors change and the shape come to life right before your eyes so this is a very simple bead